God, Grandma. Just stay down, Grandma. Your diarrhea diapers are too f much on your cigarette booty breath, too. Oh my God, Grandma. You gotta lay off the pipe, dude. Hello. Hello, everybody. Hope you're having an amazing day today, baby. Today, I'm gonna be using the PPSMG inside of Terminus Black Ops 6 Zombies because this gun is an absolute badass certified throat goat that is such a damn fun, addicting gun to use. That's probably so far my favorite gun in the entire game. I have like double extended mags on this bitch, so every single time I get this gun pack a bunch, it can hold up to 340 bullets in a single magazine, which is like double the PPSH, if not triple from what it wore. So you can just kind of fire this bad boy almost indefinitely without having to reload. And it just becomes an absolutely addicting gun to use to take out these undead Biden buttfuck. Just is probably my favorite gun of the game so far. It's really fun using multiplayer as well. I wish it fired a little bit faster. I don't think I have fire. I don't know if I have rapid fire unlocked for it quite yet though. So who knows? Maybe I can make this thing shoot a little bit faster and I can app at about 10 Mario speeds. Such a fun gun to use though, honestly. This makes me feel like an autistic kid on Christmas morning opening my tongue with the tank engine train set and all the fucking trains are going to Auschwitz, baby. Like it's just such a fun gun to use. Hey yep! I actually really like the tower defense aspects of turning on the power on this map. It's pretty fun, honestly. It can be a little bit difficult if you don't know what you're doing or if they get the jump on you. I find the second generator to be the most difficult one out of all three, honestly, because it's such a tight, closed area. Like, Grandma's big pussy, so you are really got to watch the hell in here. you got to be watching on all sides like you're playing Five Nights at Freddy's 1 high on mushrooms, and if you die, you die in real life. So you're really got to watch the hell on this fucking room. Dude, I always make sure I have a Semtex or some sort of explosive in here, like I was Barack Obama with the laptops back in the day. So I can take out these undead pricks at maximum efficiency without getting bombarded in the butthole while I'm turning on that generator. It's like reverse origins generators. When you're turning on the origins generators, you're trying to make sure that you don't get Bubba Clop plastered from behind. But in this game, you're trying to make sure the generator doesn't get tickled by P. Diddy while you're powering it up, baby. I didn't even pack a bunch yet, and I'm already having a good time with it. Joey, Joey, good show. Absolutely beautiful. Oh my god! Would you rather fight an amalgamite-sized parasite or 10 parasite-sized amalgamites? Let me know in the comments below. I feel like I'd be able to take on the one giant parasite if I pointed my ass at it the right way and let out a mean old fucking fart. Because I fart so hard, I'm surprised that it doesn't get mistaken for like a volcanic eruption for what it does to the tectonic plates. Holy shit, dude. It should be like a global event every time I fart. I'm actually gonna buy Juggernaut just to get that shit over with because I don't want to forget to buy it. I find sometimes I get carried away in making my gun level up like it's a fucking Charizard on crack and I kind of forget to make myself more prepared to take zombie hits like I'm a masochistic acorn cum or so. Yeah, we really gotta be careful in this game. Just kind of has Origins dig sites in the caves as well. Very good addition of the map. I really like that. One of my favorite parts about Origins was all the RNG bullshit you could just from digging in the dirt. And I'm glad it comes back. This is the first time we've had digging since Origins. I Dr. Shush just took a shit from his mouth. Absolutely beautiful. He did not like to see the cum pussers, pussies form from those parasitical penises. Holy shit. God fucking damn it! Fucking bullshit. That's the only bad thing about this gun is it takes forever to reload when he got extended bags on it. I probably shouldn't have waited till round damn eight to do this, but I'm an idiot and I kind of forgot that zombies' health gets more difficult to kill. I thought it only took like 10 seconds to cool down or wait to grab that insta if I knew it was going to take a little bit longer than I do to take a shit in the morning after my coffee to regenerate whole leg. And now it's overpowered, baby. 340 bullets in a singular magazine right now. We are going to be able to blast these zombies to a Gartha's pussy for days right now. I got to actually take this left back up, though, because if I don't buy armor pronto, I am cooked alive. Like a steak burning inside of Gordon Ramsay's asshole. It's like reloading. I barely know what the fuck that means, dude. I feel like you could beat the entire Easter without having to reload a single time if you use this gun and manage your ammo right. Like, holy. Well, it's time to do my favorite part of a COD Zombies game. It's time to perk up like a rapper. Let's go. I'm gonna leave a fat cum shot in your butthole, Dr. Peck. You gotta shut up right now. What came out of me to know my sperm into Dr. Peck's pecker hole? Yeah, I always try to find, have at least these three perks as fast as possible. Usually, I'd like to combine speed co into that, but I want to make sure I get this gun double upgraded before the zombies become too strong and i proceed to get slap boxed around and murdered in cold fucking blood so yeah we're going to attempt to get this bad boy upgraded and scale it with the rounds scaling your strength with the rounds is probably like the most important thing you can do in zombies honestly especially in black ops 6 
Like it says I'm out of ammo, but I still have 200 bullets. Like, holy, way, this thing is overpowered. I love it. To make it blue, and we're gonna put on that shadow rift. Let's go. Like the gun is literally called urine trouble. That's how you know it's good. The game is even aware of how butt fucked the zombies are once you pack a bunch of PP into this beautiful, badass, barbaric gun. It's like Hannibal Barrett cartoons infused into a gun with how cartoonishly overpowered this shit is. Makes me so damn happy. Get over here, you fucking butt cracked Farticus, Sporticus from Hybrid. Who wins, Patient 13 or Sporticus? Sporticus are one taps his asshole by winking at him. Oh, we gotta be that double points, baby, yes, sir! Like, oh my god, it's just a devastating bloodbath of pure satisfaction over and over again. This thing just hits so incredibly different, dude. This is like if R. Kelly trained with fucking Mike Tyson for 10 years before he got into any relationship. It just goes so incredibly hard. God damn. <laughs> this thing is so fucking stupidly overpowered for early rounds. And I absolutely adore it. Oh, damn. Double pack it. Oh my god, yes. Now it looks like a volcanic Super Mario Bowser ridden cum blast from the past. Looks absolutely beautiful, dude. Built like red. This thing built like Fred Flintstone's kilt with a little bit of Velma's coochie cum on it. Beautiful. Yo, let's go. I already had full power but anyway, but let's go. Grandma's back! Grandma's back on the front 30 pack! I think I actually know how to kill this thing now. You have to shoot its glowing eyes on its fucking body, so that's a nice pro tip for anyone out there. But if you have a higher IQ than me, which is 99% of everyone watching, uh, you probably knew that already. Yeah, bro got cooked, holy shit. I'm gonna go buy tier 2 armor, actually. I feel like this one bar is just not cutting it right now. I'd rather have one bar of ping on round 17 than one bar of armor. Get that shit out of here, dude. Let's buy sweet coal, and then I'm pretty much gonna be good on perks for the rest of the game, honestly. I also wanna slide around like a slip and slide on morphine when buy some PhD, but I should be fine for now, at least. Oh my god, there's somebody moving in the cave. It's horrifying. Get me the hell out of here. Get me the hell out of here. I gotta get a fucking toy clean screen. I gotta get a fucking. Bro flopped over the place. Oh my god. I love the stupid ass ragdoll physics in this game. It's beautiful. So, do, do I not get a max ammo? What the fuck? Um, hello? There's a, there's a power from the game called like a max ammo, and you're supposed to get one at the end of every special round, but I guess I've been a bad boy this Christmas or something. What the fuck is that horse shit? Where the, where the hell is my max ammo game? I guess the, this, that's how the Grinch stole the max ammo, I guess? What the hell? Okay, well, fuck me. Well, that's some horse right? It's hung diddly hiddly biddly bullshit. Luckily, since we're able to do that, it's water under the bridge and come into the sock, I guess, game. I guess. Uh, this is just absolutely obliterating them. Holy, they don't have a damn chance against me. I'm like Adam Sandler in the mid-2000s right now. I'm fucking stoppable. Holy shit. And I'm tweaking out the ketamine. Mangler. I, I never would have guessed that there was going to be a Mangler in Black Ops 6 Zombies. Not only did they bring them back for the billionth fucking time as a reused enemy, but they spammed them more than I spam F-bombs. Like, holy shit, dude. And that's how you know it's all, because I can't help but say the F-word every, like, fifth word of my vocabulary, I guess, because I think I need to update my vocabulary. Like, I'm stuck on Minecraft Beta 1.2, and I need to go back to fucking Title Update 21. Like, holy shit! Watch the points skyrocket, baby! <laughs> Oh my god, bro got dropped into the fucking war zone without his parachute. Oh shit, my man got pancakeified. God, this thing's just so overpowered, and I just absolutely adore this weapon in the game. It's very cooked with this game's weapon design, honestly. I wonder how the guns feel different, they have different strengths and values in each other, which is very nice, but in Cold War, I feel like any, every gun was just the same because you could just spam Ring of Fire and it would be absolutely unstoppable as long as you remained inside of that one Ring of Fire or Gonorrhea Penis, whatever you want to call it. So I'm just very happy with how the game turned out in general. I feel like the balancing and just different, like, weapons feel actually important in this game. Well, Grandma's back in town like Santa Claus about to be run over by fucking reindeer, so we gotta watch the how out. Also, it's that time of year again, Ma Mariah Carey is becoming f defrosted, so we all gotta watch the hell out for that. The second you hear Mariah Carey's song, it's fucking over. You gotta, like, sacrifice yourself to St. Nicholas's thick dickless at that point. I think I clapped the f clapified its fucking aborted booty cheeks. Yep, it's cooked. Hey, my ass cracked there, dude. It's got a little blood stain and a crease in it, but we managed to make it out alive. Sort of. Actually, I actually feel like it's really, it's a really, you have a really high chance of getting a ray gun from the legendary loot key. So I just want to go see if I can get one. Well, that's not a fucking ray gun. That's ass, because I already have a mutant injection. I feel like that's the effect that Michael Jackson had back when they just see him and you pass the hell out. You're, you got roofied in your asshole. God damn. So, but anyway, yeah, this gun just feels absolutely fluid to use as well. 
even with the extended about? three magazine, Actually, it's still no, pretty damn well. Even with the uh, even with the even with the level three, even with oh, son of a bitch, son of a bitch, son of a bitch, son of a bitch, with the level three extended mags on it, it's still a pretty light weighted weapon, so you can move around pretty fucking efficiently and fast paced with it. Especially with stamina, if you get a kill with equipment with the right augment equip, you can just zoom like holy shit. So you get to deal devastating amounts of damage with this thing rapidly over and over again repeatedly, and you get to run it on like a maniac mechanical bull on fucking meth, and it's just absolutely beautiful. It's a combination of speed, strength, and cartoonishly overpowered strength. And I kind of, I'm kind of addicted to using this gun, I'm not even gonna lie, it's just so fucking beautiful. It's like, oh yeah, give it to me, baby. The hell happened to my fucking camera? I pressed the right bumper to throw this thing, and my camera did a 180. Like, this thing is just an absolute cheese grater that is zombies dick cheese. Like, they got no damn chance, son. Aw, oh, damn, get him out of here, bro. Put the fries in the bag, put the dick in my ass, and put your nose in my penis because you are just getting aborted right now. Holy fuck, dude. I just hope my max ammo doesn't glitch out of reality like all the neurons from when I was born, dude. Because holy shit, I'm, I'm pretty damn low to ammo right now. Thank you. Jesus. Oh, maybe there was a guy. I sucked him up with my asshole. God damn it, Grandma. Just stay down, Grandma. Your diarrhea diapers are too fucking much on your cigarette booty breath, too. Oh my god, Grandma. You gotta lay off the pipe, dude. Oh! <laughs> Holy shit, I literally didn't have enough time to eat her. So I got filled up like a fucking Krispy Kreme donut. Yeah, better to be aborted later than never, you, you greasy bitch. Tier 3 saving my ass right now. Holy! Fucking heroin stim, heroin stim. I love the heroin stims. Oh, I don't need immune injection to get out of this. I'm goaded. Oh my god, my penis is crazy. 13 HP. Oh my god, I, I for sure shot that was like lesbian meat curtains. Oh my. Luckily, this gun is so overpowered and absolutely based that it managed to help me get out of that cat catastrophic, chaotic situation. Oh. The best part is, I got enough salvage to just craft in her silver, but absolute godlike a gun right here. It's just an absolute blessing to have as a firearm in this game. You just blast so many zombies so damn efficiently, effectively, and swiftly. But I don't know if I could beat this gun. This might be my favorite gun in the entire game. Like, it's just so fucking fun to use. I absolutely love it. The Jackal is another fun to use. Honestly, pretty much every gun in the game that's not a rocket launcher feels fun to use in this game. But this PP just goes absolutely fucking hard on the zombies' ho-ass heads that it's almost unbeatable to me. It's just so fucking beautiful. Like, you can't do nothing about that shit, hey? That was like a Christmas miracle on top of a cum-shotted cream pie. Let's go, dude. Oh my, the one good thing about these manglers is they usually tend to at least drop a little bit of ammo and armor for you at the end of the day. You know, literally at the end of your day when they finally fucking decide to drop dead and die. So it's like a one benefit about them being spammed to high hell. But holy shit, the, the, the cons definitely do not... The benefits definitely do not outweigh the cons on that one. Holy granola boner fart. I think I gotta find a better training spot on than this, honestly, because this spot tends to be a little bit difficult to maintain on the higher routes. But there's an ammo box, there's jug, there's a crafting table, so very close to enough to each other that it's almost convenient. The only thing that's in kind of a shitty spot over here is the crafting table. It's like having a Minecraft Steve crafting table only accessible in the nether lava compared to your house. It's like, why the fuck would you put it there? It's like, god damn it. I wish there was a crafting table and an arsenal or bolt in that room, but I guess it would be a little bit overpowered, but it would just help, okay? It would be nice for my stupid little sped squirrel ass. It would give me a fighting chance again, these undead bimbos. Fucking undead himbo hillbillies, goddammit. John Gina being chill. I think I ended the whole round during like the fucking duration of that one insta kill. Holy shit. I know it's solo and it's only around 25, so there's not that amount of zombies, but I don't think I had to reload once since I grabbed the insta kill. Holy shit. This thing is just so magnificent. Oh, I'm ready to go a few rounds with you, Raptor. One, let's fly to one. I don't know. You will pilot your penis into my poop hole. Let's go, dude. Is that a little suspect? Only a lot. Oh, I have enough of salvage. I'm going to actually wait to make this gun legendary because I want to make sure I have enough ar uh, salvage to repair my armor. Because that's just GG's for your homeboy's bussy if I manage to let the zombies butt fucking poundify my anus without the power of armor to protect me, you know? Armor is everything. 
A strong defense is a strong offense. A wet pussy is a good pussy. I love the way they tweak the- I'm almost already back up to 30,000 points just because this thing has so much ammo. I don't have to buy ammo for it like every fucking round, which is nice. Oh, Grandma, no! Right here, Grandma, no! I'm just gonna fucking ether shout away. Get away from me. As you can see, this thing just kind of shreds the mini boss. I've got netted on, holy shit! It's like Alexis, Texas, Fat Sheiks. It was get 10,000 eliminations. Hold. I kind of thought I already had more than that, but that's still pretty good. Oh my god, 400 headshots this game with this thing as well. Not bad. Decent progress. I never get out a lot more, but I always forget to actually kind of go for headshots and kind of just let them happen naturally. You know, kind of like getting a boners. Oh shit, oh Ruby, Ruby, I gotta be safe by Ruby. Oh, there was an armor plate there and I tried to grab it. I just didn't manage to get there in time, so it kinda they kinda got the upper hand on me to clapify my butthole. Yeah, here come sluts. Well, that's going to do it for this video, gamers. I believe that's pretty much well showcased why this gun is completely overpowered, but in a good, fun, goofy way, not in an unbalanced, needs to be nerfed way. It's the fun, overpowered, all, all like bullet hell for the zombies. And it's just an absolutely addicting masterpiece of a weapon that I'll be continuing to use after I get all the guns open in the game. I hope you guys did enjoy the video. Remember to leave a like, comment, subscribe on the video if you did enjoy. I hope to catch you guys in the next video. Remember to enjoy the rest of your day and your week. Stay safe, stay hydrated. Have a good one, gamers. You are fucking awesome. Peace out, boys.